partnership. Avoiding our truth can undermine relationships. When we suppress our genuine feelings and desires, we create a facade that hinders authentic connection. It's like building a bridge on shaky foundations. It may seem stable, but cracks inevitably appear. Lying in a relationship may be used to avoid pain, punishment, humiliation, or argument. A partner may lie to save another's feeling, lean into the safety of self-delusions, or protect themselves from losing credibility. Lying can also stem from mental health issues. If you discover lying in your relationship, considering exactly what or who the lie is attempting to protect or conceal can help you decide if you can forgive or not. Three components of thrust in relationship is competency, goodwill, and integrity. Honesty in your relationship is really about authenticity and transparency. When you're being honest in a relationship, it means you're straightforward and say what you really think and feel. It means you don't willfully omit or misdirect others. There is no manipulation with true honesty. True honesty is always from a loving heart and a willingness to be open and vulnerable. However, having conflict in relationships is something that most people struggle with at one time or another. It's natural for people to have different perspectives, needs and desire and when those differences come to a head, conflict can arise. Whether you've been on the giving or receiving end of relationship, deceit, you know that nothing crushes love quite like a web of lies. That's why learning how to be honest in a relationship is so important. As a couple, if you decide to speak the truth, it involves being vulnerable, honest and open from a place of full responsibility. It's never an excuse to keep blaming your partner and there is never a right time to speak up. How to threaten your relationship as a couple? Say what is on your mind if something is bothering you. Learn to speak your mind without fear. Take responsibilities for your well-being, using vulnerability as a strength or witness. Take full responsibility for your emotions. It will help you speak in a way that enables your vulnerability to open up your relationship. Know that you are always entitled to your feelings. Work on your feelings or self-worth. Be clear on your values and desires in your romantic life. Be mindful. Keep ego aside. Speaking the truth is not always comfortable or easy because it goes against our conditioning that says, be nice, be perfect, do not upset others. Without a doubt, it is a great way to create an extraordinary relationship with your partner. And with us with that lush air stuff. And now the day has come to light. As we continue with family and values and our topic today, you heard it, handling the fruits. How well can you handle the truth? The real truth. <laughs> that you have just tell you. <laughs> Two years and um, it's not that anything. But I remember I was raped and um, my uncle, you know, because it's a family thing, we have to kill that um, situation. And in the course of the abortion, I had complications. Is See, these right? are deep truths. Yeah. Is that right? How can you handle it? Oh, your husband told you on the night of your wedding that, I'm sorry, I don't even have erection. Mm -hmm. So let's wait. I was watching a little comedy yesterday. And the other one was like, you did not even greet me and say, I did a great job yesterday. I said, what job did you do? What job? We calculate everything. 10 minutes, you are done. <laughs> so handling the truth in relationship. And I have a beautiful lady here. This lady... It seems we've known each other for over a year, but just she's a beautiful damsel I just met. I'm talking about a beautiful Chidema Frank Aduba. She's a life and family coach, counselor, educationist, and um, they say when you see her, I was watching one of her this thing. But I'll come back to that later. Be my so good to have you this morning. Thank you. Good morning, Olori. <laughs> good morning. Even though you didn't come with a lot of accessories, I, I've seen what I will take anyway. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I too. How is Uncle? Cool? Because if you are looking radiating like this, it's because you have someone by your mm. side who is not giving you too much stress. I tell you. Deny really? that. <laughs> I'm not denying. Yes, I have some of So I, I'm that. okay with that. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Okay. Thank God for having you this morning. Okay, how can someone handle a partner who questions your honesty? I want to know how well, you know. You know, 
you you're like trying to you know i remember the last time you were here we're talking about something not too close to this mm. or you say see everybody has got their life and you have a way of just handling your own yes, can you deal with certain things yes. this is my life this is my phone yes do why do you want to go into my own privacy yes. my privacy is my privacy now to someone who just wants to know the truth and nothing but the truth so help me god is it everything that every truth that comes out in a relationship that you need to share with your partner let me start with that <laughs> it's a pretty tough one because and uh, the truth yeah. actually is beautiful um it fosters the relationship but it's also challenging hmm. big big challenge it is because the person you need to tell the truth to <laughs> you must measure the measure. person's maturity that was mm. you must measure the person's maturity. maturity tell me everything tell me everything tell me everything of course that's what he's gonna ask i want mm. to know everything now it's left for you to put in some strategies to what what you want to let in okay. is you know this relationship is not only spouse yeah it can be your family member yes. can be familiar your, yes can be your platonic relationship yeah. at times you want to protect that person but tell me the truth i just want to know the truth you can't say in the, there, there, there are strategies to it you will say the truth but it has strategies and you have to ensure you look into the person who the person is this person you're going to say the truth is someone you've had a relationship with yeah. we're talking about relationship it's yeah. not a stranger yeah. so you know this person very well mm. you know how they can handle things yes. you know how they can handle situations yeah. so that will help you put in your strategy properly so that as you're passing the information, the information is getting to the person, you're hitting the nail on the head, you're also applying some caution, and you're getting a balance. So that when you give that information, that truth you want to tell, you're not telling the truth to cause a problem. Mm -hmm. You actually want to say the truth because you want to provide a solution to something. You want to help out with something. Let it come as a help. Let it come and remedy something. It should not be coming in to destroy something. Wow. So okay. About um, <laughs> I want to ask this question and I'll give a very typical scenario. Is telling the truth good in a relationship? And now I had um, a very close friend of mine that had done series of abortion and she's been married and they're looking for a child. And when they went for the first medical checkup, the doctor told her, asked her this question, how many abortions have you done? And she said, seven. And she said, okay, your womb can't. And the husband was seated there. Now, the man didn't feel bad because the woman had told the man. Okay. For some men, hearing that for the first time, I mean, that would have ended the marriage. Yeah. Wow. But then they started finding alternative, which they are still in the process. So now, is telling the truth, and when we mean deep truth in relationship, good. Let's assume one family member molested you or got you pregnant, and then family came together because they didn't want shame. They decided to c carry an abortion, and it was affected. Is telling those deep truths good in relationship? And we mean those deep truths that know that pierces the heart. Is it good in relationships? It is very good and it is very challenging. Okay. It is very good and, and it is very, very challenging. challenging. And you're not going to say what you call the truth as something that will torment the person hmm. you're telling the truth hmm. to. Okay. Some truths are very true, but they are very tormenting. So in that situation, you're going to look for some words. All words are not the same. Mm. They are similar. We call them synonyms. Yeah. But some are softer than the others. Do you understand? Mm. So when you go in that way, you're able to reach what you want. We, we, that you reach, you will get there. But you get there on a softer level. So you've already massage the ego the ego of the person you're telling mm. you've already with those strategies you've massaged the ego you've been able to bring the tempo down mm. so when the person is getting the information and as you're also giving that information if it's a bombshell it's a big one 
you know you have the remedies you, the solutions close to what you're saying so as you're disclosing this truth you're bringing solutions it should be a solution providing avenue at that point in time you're saying it you're having solution close to mm. you and look at what happened you're saying it and you're saying yes and what i know now is that if we apply okay you have calmed it down okay so yeah, like putting down. the pepper and still blowing is like hey let's mm. not be <laughs> now to avoid coming out with the truth and not being hurt is it better to lie to save the situation mm. it has never been a good one to lie so it's better you go through that tough and serious minded um situation and say oh, it's challenging but mm. like i say if you study someone in life, whatever you do, you study. Then you strategize on how to go about yes. it. Put in the right strategies. It will work. Hmm. Okay, let's say it's not even the abortion. I come to you, my spouse, or you're my friend. I found out you have body odor. Then when we come to talk, I want to tell you you have body odor. I can't just see and say, well, Lori, you have body odor. Hmm. You're not going to take it from me. That's not the best way to pass it. Hmm. I have to find ways. I have to find a setting. Maybe a give time. present a gift of time. Setting. I have to find out that okay, is you and I now that sitting together. Yeah. I can't call joy and have everyone around us on a round table and yeah. I'm telling you, <laughs> you smell. Then you look for appropriate timing for yeah. it. You look for appropriate setting. And I can also tell you that you're smelling. When someone says, probably someone has just come to you, you're smelling. And you come to me, you're telling me, and I say, don't you know you smell? Ooh. Mm. That's a big one. Ooh. I'm going to find a way mm. to slow down, calm you down, yeah. and tell you it's not really, I don't understand where the guy is coming from. That was bad. Hey, but I noticed. I will not say things from my perspective. So that you're going to see that I noticed something from my own perspective. I noticed this. But I think if you now, maybe that, you see that your children, you need to change, change it. it. Mm. Because when i'm done with you you will change, change it you'll feel better yeah. you'll feel good with me you will take in the truth mm. i don't need to lie to you yeah okay can one find um the truth in a relationship defined by lies you know <laughs> we are very good at <laughs> human beings naturally we are good at maneuvering manipulating yeah and then we manipulate 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 and then where you are going you, know, you see somebody now like finds the truth after you've defined it by lies is it possible it is very possible but it is not good mm. in every relationship you know they say you earn trust Mm. You don't ask for it. No. You don't work for it. No. You just earn it. Mm. So if what I've earned, what the person has earned from you is that you're not truthful, it's going to take a while. Once you bring up anything, I'm going to filter it very well because mm. I don't even believe you. I know you're good at That's manipulation. True. Yeah. Do you understand? Yes. So being truthful, see, having strategies to go about it does it doesn't mean you should lie. You're still arriving at the same place. But what it means is that you're applying empathy. Mm -hmm. You're caring. You, you care about how the person is going to feel. The person you're going to pass this information to. How is the person going to feel? You care about it. That's the only reason. You're applying empathy to it. To get to this person. You also want to win this person's trust. You want this person to know I'm coming from a good place. There's a way you'll be blunt with people and you'll lose them. Very true. And people okay. don't like it so when you're be very Because of our time, them. how can I manage a partner who cannot, or a friend, or handle a relationship, or, okay, a partner or friend who cannot handle the truth? How do I come? You just gave us an instance. But how do I now come in? Okay, this is my husband. This is my wife. How do I go about the process of explaining or coming out with the truth that I really want him or her to know for peace sake what are the steps I need to take because some are taking it and it has destabilized the family yes. some are taking them it you know they wanted to do it in good faith but it has turned the marriage to separation 
absentee husband, absentee wife, you know, loneliness and depression are setting. How do I, what are the steps I need to take to be able to get the truth out? You know, there's something I keep talking about, problem-solving approach. Mm. Now, we call it an approach, means where am I going to come from? Yeah. What you need to find out first is, this thing I want to divulge, is it really necessary? Do you understand? Is it necessary, is it necessary for this person's mental health, health? For this person's mental well-being? We are all, see, maturity, everyone is at every, different steps, at different levels of maturity. So you check the person's maturity. If the person's maturity can handle it, not a problem. You sit the person down. You're going to be tactful. You see this, this, I say it bluntly, I say it the way it is. If he said to you, you bluntly and the way it is, are you sure you're going to be able to handle it? Yeah, that's it. So you have to be very, very tactful. Consider the impact on the person. How is the impact, the impact going to be on this person? I am about telling this. I'm about talking to. So those are the measures. I don't know that person. You know that person. Know what works for the person. That's why they say in relationship, communicate. And so the, the person you're with. That's why I say your neighbor's husband is not your husband. Your neighbor's sister is not your mm. sister. Yeah. You're not also your neighbor. So check what worked for mm. both of you. You've studied this person. You now know the right approach. Don't say, because they said I should always know the truth. You just, mm, you give it that way. Mm. And it's a bombshell. Okay. And the person is very Okay, bombshell. okay. Now, let's talk about <laughs> money. When it comes to money relationship, <laughs> what's your opinion about telling the truth when it comes to money? Because um, you know that sometimes you tell somebody <laughs> what you're earning on how much your money is. Tell your partner. Is. Let your partner know. And then, you, you know, it, it comes in with extra. And then, yeah, man, say, no, no, I cannot tell, tell women about what I earn because women know. Mm, and the women will say, no, I don't want a man to control my finances. So what's your opinion about um, talking about money, telling the truth about money in relationship generally and in marriage? It's a must capital letter on I the line is the most <laughs> capital letter on, on the, the line. line yes mm. because he helps you see i've had a friend who believes her husband has money hmm. he doesn't know, she doesn't know because he doesn't let her in yeah. do you know she, we work together she works but she will not want to bring in her money yeah. because she believes yeah, he has so has much. much and he's maybe, probably he's giving it out i want to collect mine <laughs> but this guy goes out of his way to even buy her jewelry. Mm. Wow. To make her feel so happy. Oh, oh, she appreciate it. So she feels if he had bought me this jewelry, he had bought 3,000 3, people, people. So it's nothing. I'm expecting more. So when the mom passed, they were planning for funeral. That was when she realized this guy didn't even have up to, let's say, 500,000 hmm. of his own. He doesn't have. And she has assumed. So they never planned. There was no plan. When I know what you bring in and what I bring in, yeah. we're able to, to plan. plan. What do we keep back? What do we keep carrying mm. on? You know, when I hear men say, I don't want my wife to know what How I'm doing. How much want, I end. That is the problem. The more she knows, the better for you. Hmm. Sweetheart, why is it difficult for people to handle truth when it comes? The way you present the it to we them. Are, we are wired or the way The way you are. present it to them. Hmm. If you agree you're going to marry someone or be with someone, you have to study that person. You can't okay. say, I don't need to study him or her. You need to study so that you know what works for you. Presentation. Different things work for different people. So when I you see marriage, relationship, is not one size fits all. Mm. What will be working for me might not be working, might not for, be you. working for So you. when I hear all those dramas on social media, everyone is telling everyone how they are supposed to behave. It's funny. It's funny. We're trained from different homes. Yeah. We have different Our values. Background and values. We're even coming with different ideas with different into those ideas. So you can't come and say, it's not one size fits all. Do what works for you. Hmm. Do you know there are families where the women are the ones, they are the breadwinners of those homes? And you will never know. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. They are where the men a lot of them do a lot of domestic I, I, yeah. work and yeah. you will never know. Yes. The fact is, find your balance. Every family is unique. No two families are the same. 
So tell yourselves the truth so that you know how to go, mm. how to process things, how to go towards it. Wow. Okay. You know how to go and how to go and how process to and how to process it. Process it. Um, <laughs> I wish I had more time because with Dima, you always want to go. All the Dimas, they are always very special being. Okay, so in one word, in 60 seconds, can you just um, wrap up with your final advice as we take our leave on family and values this morning to our viewers? They need to know why and how and what. The program is family and values. What are the values? Keep your own values. Okay. Don't follow any other person's values. Keep your own. Work your own. Your own is unique. Your own is special. In communication, do what works for you and your spouse. Do what for you. What works for you and your spouse. In communication. So find out who your spouse is. Let things out. Let him let things out. Both of you sit together. Strategize and go. I'm telling you, the sky is your starting point. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Dima. It's so good to have you. Bless. Thank Please, you. our great regards to um, Oga Frank Aduba. You hear? Please. You hear? This is very well. You I hear? I'm sure it's more than that. The celebration. We celebrated you that day. Thank you. Remember? You sent a shout out, even though we're expecting <laughs> cake to come in. <laughs> But thank God you're here. Thank you God. So tomorrow is going to be another wonderful time for you to be on Family and Values. We told you family is all about your son, your daughter, my wife, my husband, my brother, my sister, my mother, my father, my uncle, my aunt. My is on every My grandparents, my great-great-grandparents. It's not just about the husband and the wife now. You need to start from cradle. So you pick anything from young, from old, from middle, from youth, from teenagers, preteen. Everybody has you know one benefit or the other of family and values so it's not just about christian as well it is a social cultural and also religious you know program okay so if you have anything at all tomorrow how to handle a shy partner how to handle a shy how do you handle your husband who cannot even toast you on your before you you know you have some guys who don't know how to do all this talk talk and come they'll just be buying you gifts giving you beautiful beautiful things it's not you now come and say ah i just got yes i just yes and say excuse me what do you mean i have been oh your guy you know talk or god day what is happening to you joy <laughs> <laughs> so talk okay <laughs> thank you for being a part of family and value this morning we are appreciate you we love you and to all the viewers that one from lunch is a plus for you so call in so you know how to get your gifts from lunch we appreciate it. we'll see you tomorrow my name is to remain joy abu and do have a blessed monday start your monday right so that the week will be better for you we'll see you tomorrow okay so that the week will be better for you don't forget to join us 9 a.m tomorrow on galaxy <laughs> television will be here my name is to remain Uri Adichoki, and with david hope to see you tomorrow like i said gratitude should be an attitude so be grateful and be thankful and so happiness will be an attitude for you and everyone that's around you love yourself and celebrate others have a splendid and a wonderful day ahead bye for now <laughs>